Hello again, beautiful artists, and welcome back to another episode of Paint Along with Sky. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sky, and I post beginning level acrylic painting tutorials here on YouTube every Saturday. So make sure to hit subscribe so you can join the fun and paint along. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. All right, so this week we are fast approaching fall. It is September. Woohoo! Uh, excited about that. And I'm going to launch now into our gorgeous fall concepts for our paintings for the next couple of weeks, next couple of months, until it's uh, Christmas time, my second favorite season. Um, but we have a nice autumn bridge for today's tutorial. And I have my three standard brushes that I use for most of my classes from my four brush kit here. So I have my large square wash brush, a medium sized pointed brush, and one of my small detail brushes. I'm gonna get those in my water cup off the side of the screen. The colors that I'm starting with for today's background step, I have some phalo green, a little bit of ultramarine blue, yellow, orange, and some white. To see a full materials list of everything that you need to paint along, check the description box below. All right, let's go ahead and jump on in. So I'm gonna grab my smallest brush and I'm going to create my horizon line as my first step here. I'm going to do that with a light blue, very light in color. And I'm going to go up maybe about a little less than a third of the way up. And I'm going to do a straight line all the way across as straight as I can like so, and then we're going to have our little stream come from the center here. And the way that I'm going to kind of block it out is with these little brush strokes that are gonna start more narrow and work our way out like so. And once we get this shape all lined up, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab a little bit more paint and start to fill that in with the light blue as well. Just back and forth brush strokes, a little bit of color variation in there is a good thing. Back and forth, grabbing just a little bit more of a pigmented blue to pull that across like so and I might bring it a little bit further in then I think I'm going to have my river shoreline here just to make sure that I get a nice clear transition when I bring my green in later okay so just like so I think I'll probably need to pull this a little bit further out down here all right, looks good. Again, just a tiny bit of color variation, looks good. Keeping all of the brush strokes going back and forth. Okay, now I'm gonna grab my largest brush. I'm going to take that same light blue color, maybe with a little bit more white even. I'm going to add a couple brush strokes of this super duper light blue right here in the center. Okay, just like so. It's okay if it blends a little bit. There at your river. A little bit more blue in there, but nice and light. Okay, looks good. All right, now I'm gonna grab my medium sized brush and I'm going to go back down here into my bottom part going to mix up sort of like a medium green with yellow and green and a pinch of white and I'm going to come in here and create a little shoreline with little brush strokes like so coming into the blue A little bit of dark green here, pulling towards the right here. And then the same idea mirrored on the other side. Just 
Don't be afraid to move your canvas around if you need to. I always have tried to stay completely stationary for you guys. Uh, with my one camera angle. <laughs> but feel free to move it all around if you're on your tabletop or pull it close to you if you're using a stand-up easel. Okay, and then I'm just pulling that dark green here first. Little brush strokes, just like so. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit of yellow, a little bit more white for a slightly lighter green. And I'm gonna take that green off the edge here. A little bit more white, just like so. And hopefully your green is still wet and we're just blending those colors together, creating a little bit of a gradation so that it's darker here towards the water. A little bit more yellow in there. Okay, always a little bit of water into the paint, helps it go nice and smooth. A little bit more yellow. And I'm coming up to cover that original sketch line. coming off the side of the canvas, all the way off. And you can always add a little bit more dark green back in if you need to, sort of adjust your gradation there. Okay, looking good. All right, now I'm gonna grab my largest brush again. And we're gonna hop back up top. And I'm going to start with a gorgeous yellow orange. Just gonna be orange and yellow together. Make sure I'm not pulling green into that. And I'm gonna put a little bit of white in there as well. And I'm going to come up to the corners here and lay down some brush strokes in the two corners with that yellow orange. A little bit more. Getting those fall colors, love it. Okay, I'm just pulling it towards the center here. I'm gonna rinse my brush slightly. I'm gonna grab just some yellow. I'm gonna bring that right along the edge. A little bit of white as well. Yellow and white. A little bit of a gradation there. Starting to get closer to your blue. You don't want to have too much pigment here. Okay, rinsing my brush a little bit and then I'm just gonna grab a little bit of green and make a gorgeous yellow green. Sneak a little bit of white in there as well. That's gonna be our final little tree color here which will close the gap with your blue and then also fill out this bottom space as well. Just like so, so you'll see a little peekaboo of the sky is the idea there. Okay, perfect. Just like so. Just getting our background colors laid on blended together a little bit. That's looking really cute. All right, and that is plenty for our first layer. So let's go ahead and step away now and let this layer dry, and then we're gonna come back with a whole bunch more. I'll see everyone in a few. Okay, welcome back artists. We have a dry background and fresh colors on my piece of palette paper here. So I have some warm burnt sienna type brown more yellow and orange, more of my ultramarine blue, more of my phthalo green and black and white. I rinsed my brushes and got fresh water at break as well. Let's go ahead and jump right back into it. All right, I'm gonna grab my smallest brush now and I'm going to mix up a medium gray. 
right. And then the first line that I'm going to do with this is going to be the arch of my bridge. So this is an important arch. We wanna make sure that it comes all the way kind of into our greenery. And then it's going to go all the way across to the other side here. We kind of wanna center it. It's okay if everything's a little bit off center, kind of adds to the natural feel of it. Okay, and I'm just gonna do a little half circle just like so, and that was pretty good, I think. Okay, and then we're gonna go right across the top here. Let's go a little bit higher, just like so, and then we'll have our bridge shape. I think I'm gonna go a little bit higher, just like so. All right, now I'm gonna grab my medium-sized brush for the filling in to make it a little bit easier on myself. Just going to mix up some of that medium gray. And we're just going to now fill in that whole bridge shape straight as we can across the top. And we're just starting by filling it all in with that medium gray. We can sort of adjust the shape as need be as we fill it in. Straight line here at the bottom. Just very carefully filling it all in. Just like so. And it's always important to get those brush strokes all go in the same direction, make things look nice and neat. So back and forth brush strokes here. Okay, great. And now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. A little bit of water always. Any opportunity to straighten things out as much as you can. Adjust the arch if you need to. Okay. Looking pretty good. Okay. Just making sure that's not see through anymore. Great. Now let's grab a little bit of a darker gray. And I still have that same medium brush. And I'm going to do a quick shadow here at the bottom, which would be that first arch. And it'll blend a little bit, is the idea here. And then we're going to start laying some bricks. with this brush. Little stones right on top of each other. Making it simple today, just doing brush strokes. Okay, working our way across the top. Okay. We'd have, of course, these stones, but there'd be mortar in between. We're gonna add some more stones in just a minute. So these are kind of our shadows, shadow colors. Okay, cute. Rinse my brush slightly. And now I'm gonna come in with a light gray and do sort of the same thing in reverse. Okay, so I'm adding now some highlighted stones kind of in the in-between areas. That's just gonna give us some nice stone-like texture. Work our way 
across here. Okay, I'm just evening out the other side as well. Matching them, mirroring them as best as possible. Okay, nice. Looks great. All right, let's go up top a little bit now. I'm gonna rinse my brush and use that same brush. And I'm gonna go up into my trees again. A little bit of yellow orange. Not gonna add white this time though. And I'm gonna put some brush strokes all around here, which will be our lovely all trees in the background. Coming into the center a little bit. Okay, kind of doing the same movements with my hand as I was with the larger brush underneath. I'm gonna grab a little bit of light yellow and just throw that in there to mix things up a little bit as well, getting some nice texture now. Yellow with white. Looking good. Okay. Very nice. All right, let's go down here and work a little bit in our water now for just a minute. I'm gonna grab a little bit of blue, sneak a bit of black and a bit of white into it. And with this color, I'm going to come right along the shoreline and create a little bit of shadows coming towards the center, pulling in here. Very nice. I like the contrast here of the blue with the orange. That is one of my favorite color combinations is blue and orange together. It's probably because I'm a redhead with blue eyes. <laughs> Particularly partial to fall coloring. Okay, little brush strokes all the way across, all the way up and down rather, but going horizontally, just like so. Blue and orange are on the opposite sides of the color wheel. I have a class all about the color wheel and color theory and how to make pleasing color combinations and also how to blend colors. It's called Color Theory 101 and it is available on Skillshare. I have also a link in the description box below for a free month on Skillshare for my students. So check that out as well. I'm just pulling the blue a little bit further in here, blending it a little bit towards the center, getting some good movement in the water there. I'm gonna grab a little bit of a light blue to help me blend it all together. Let's do a little lighter here. Okay, went a little bit too much with the dark, so I'm just gonna add a little light right back on top and tone things down a little bit. Acrylic painting is always a play, so you can never go wrong. You can always just paint over it. It's kind of go back and forth with the colors until you get where you wanna be. Okay, that looks nice. And I'm going to grab a little bit of just white. I'm going to have a clean brush. I'm going to go right in the center with a little bit of highlights as well. So now we have our low lights and our highlights, highlights and shadows. That's what it's all about. Okay, looking good. All right, our bridge is sort of dry. We're going to do something right on top of it right now. So if it's still really wet and you need to give it a second, just go ahead and step away for a minute and come back. Um, but I think it'll be fine. So 
since this is a pretty dark color. So I have my green here. I'm gonna pull a little bit of brown into it and a little bit of white. I'm going to make a beautiful, rich, dark green color. And I'm gonna do little bushes that come up and cover the first little part of the bridge here. And then a little kind of curved, soft brush strokes for the bottom part of that shape. And then we're gonna do that same thing again for another little line of bushes. And sort of a curved, soft bottom there. Little curved brush strokes, not exactly straight there on the bottom. Okay, brown and green together. And I'm going right over the first part of the bridge there. Okay. And that just makes it look like that bridge nestled in between all this lush greenery. Okay, and a second little one as well. It's coming together. We're having fun today. Okay. coming from the side. So cute. Okay, I'm going to grab my smallest brush and kind of sneak a little bit more black into this green to make a nice shadow color. And with that small brush, I'm going to bring in a little bit of shadow here at the bases of those bushes, as well as a little bit of sort of scribbly texture coming up. Very, very light pressure with the brush. Just ever so gently. Okay, cute. With that same small brush, I'm gonna grab a little bit of a yellow green real quick and just do a few little reeds sneaking out from behind there. So cute. Okay, and I'm gonna grab that dark green again and just come here right along the shoreline. I'm just gonna wiggle my brush right along where the blue meets the green and just create a little shoreline and pull some horizontal lines from that point over. I'm also going to take a little bit of back and forth horizontal lines right underneath my bushes as well. Okay, looks great. Let's go ahead and repeat that on the other side. Everything is a mirror of itself today. A little bit too much water. There we go. Wiggling my way down and then pulling some brush strokes over. Nice, and a little bit of shadow. A few little baby brush strokes. Okay, very nice. All right, let's jump around now again back up to the top, and we're gonna do our trees and then also our little fence, or our handrail, rather. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a dark brown a little bit of brown and black together and I'm going to create my trees now just kind of wiggle my way up 
here from the base of the bridge. We're just going to slowly build little trees on either side of our little crossing. Very gentle texture, very gentle pressure rather, and you kind of wiggle it around, make it look natural rather than just straight. Sort of varied pressure. We'll get some nice variation within the branches. And then you can also have some branches that kind of maybe they are floating, they are coming from deep in that foliage. You maybe can't see where it's coming from because you only see part of it. And we'll cover that a little bit with some bright colors in just a minute. So that's okay if it looks a little strange. Just a few trees on either side. This is very much giving like Central Park or like storybook. Like a, a meet cute, like where Pongo and Perdita met in the 101 Dalmatians. Okay, super cute. Okay, I'm gonna grab my medium sized brush again, do a quick switcheroo there, and I'm going to grab a little bit more of my yellow orange, and I'll have a few brush strokes here and there, especially around those sort of mystery peekaboo ones as our final little step in that area. Looking pretty cute. I pulled a little bit of the brown in and that is okay. All right, looking good. Ooh, with that same brush, actually real quick, before we switch, Let's pull a little bit of that beautiful color down here into our little grassy area, this wall, because we would have some fallen leaves since it is, of course, fall. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of yellow with white so that it's a little bit more opaque and just do a few brush strokes of some yellow leaves as well. How cute is that? Okay, and then same on the other side. I seem to always start on the right side. I am right-handed, in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> okay, a little bit more of our yellow and white for this side. Not too much, just a few little brush strokes there. And then I'm gonna grab my smallest brush again and I'm also going to have just a little bit of reflection in the water. It's going to be back and forth brush strokes, really very slight. Just the tiniest little bit of a hint of that reflection. And a tiny bit of yellow as well. Okay, and then I'm going to take that same small brush, cleaned it a little bit. And my final piece de la resistance, I'm going to come up here. Ooh, almost took a drip there. Always gotta be careful with the drips. I'm gonna do a straight line right on top of my bridge. Nice clean black line, just like so, all the way across. always difficult to do these super straight lines while I'm talking at the same time. So if you hear me hold my breath, it's for the focus.
holding your breath helps. Okay, all the way off there. Okay. And now, challenging part, we're gonna try to do a straight line right on top, just slightly. I like to do this line first. Okay, we're trying, we're trying. I'm going to use a ruler and trace this out with a light color or water first. If you're feeling too nervous to try to freehand a straight black line on top of your beautiful fall masterpiece, I understand. Okay, and then we're going to do little posts all the way across, just like so. Okay, and a person might be standing waist height here. It's about our frame of reference. So you can adjust per scale, if need be, as well. Okay, we're not quite even, but that's okay. Trying to stay straight up and down. And we don't mind if it's a little bit whimsical today. Just like so, so cute. Okay, I think we just need a little bit of highlights here and there. I'm gonna take that same brush. I'm gonna take a very light green color. And real quick, I'm just gonna do a little highlight here on my bushes. They're a little bit dry, so it's a little bit blending. Super cute. Okay. Looking good. Now I think I'll take a little bit of that same green, maybe a pinch more yellow, or just a little bit of highlight in my grass. Making sure everything is clean and bright and cheery. If you painted along today, I do have a Facebook group called The Art Club that's specifically designed for my students to share their work. We'd love to see what you're painting. There's a link in the description box below to join that as well. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of sort of stone highlights with this small brush just here and there in my bridge. Just again to keep everything nice and clean, not too dark. And mess it up a little bit too. <laughs> Make it a little bit more whimsical. All right, that's looking really cute. And that is all the instructions that I have for everyone this week. So please let me know if you liked this painting. Let me know in the comments section below. Please hit like if you liked it. Check out that course, Color Theory 101 on Skillshare. Don't forget there's a link below for a free month. love to see you over in the art club and that's all I have for us this week so until next time stay creative